coaster credits. We all do them. Not everyone, but okay. You don't count? No. Why not? Because then I'm going to end up being like insane about it. Like I'm going to go to a new theme park and instead of being like, I'm going to marathon their best ride, I'm going to be like, I'm going to wait in line for the kitty ride. <laughs> We're the wild mouse for an hour and a half. All right, I apologize for that one. I agree with that. But the thing about credits is that by nature, you know, most of the roller coasters are totally fine, but you get some that you just can't figure out. Big question marks. Yeah, that okay. it, it gets into that gray area. So I want to, what do you do to classify a roller coaster? You argue like crazy with each other. We literally talk about this all the time. That's why we're here right now. Okay, well, there's a couple different ways that you could do this. One is if you see RCDB as the enthusiast Bible, then Which you could I go used to be that, that way. You I could used to. That. I, I swore on RCDB until there were a couple that I disagreed with. Yes, because their basic definition is that the ride has to coast or roll upward yeah. without like, any kind of mechanism forcing it there, right? Mm -hmm. But then you get into some areas where like you get some rides that yeah. have wheels, they have rails, but is it a roller coaster? The one that we've been arguing about as of recent is Drain to Atlantis at Cerro Orlando. And the log flume over at... Um... Enchanted Forest. Yes. Yeah. These are rides that by basic definition are log flumes, but they have roller coaster like moments. If yes. you go on RCDB, the log flume at Enchanted Forest is a credit. I wrote it because I expect it to be a credit. And I got off that saying, that felt like a normal log flume. And what did you do after that? I removed it from my credit list. What did you do first? I counted it to up my count. Mm -hmm. Then I realized This that is the thing. This is why this all started. He will change the parameters of what he would consider a roller coaster to fit into his credit count to make it higher. Okay, but there have been times where, because RCDB, I swore by. You know, everything. The if Holy on, Bible of enthusiasts. If it was on RCDB, I count it. And then I did Harley Quinn at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. It's a Skyline Attraction Sky Warp. I got off that and said, that's a fly ride. And so that's why I changed my opinion to be whatever the ride best classifies okay. as that is how you should group it. Well, that makes so, things complicated. Uh, yes, and I agree. I, but that's why the log flume in Chant Forest, I no longer consider a roller coaster because that is definitely a log flume. Okay. It so, felt like a log flume. So then what about Journey to Atlantis at SeaWorld? See, that's where it gets tricky because the one in Orlando, 90% of it is a log flume or a yes. boat ride, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's and then you get to the end where it has the physical roller coaster section, mm -hmm. which is very much, it's pretty much just like a bank turn and then you go into like a splashdown. But it uses the same track as like the other two. Yes. So it's like, okay, well, that's like 15% of a roller coaster. I'll just give myself 15% of a credit. I'm not doing that. That's <laughs> not, I'm just. But you said, and I quote, it is whatever it is best described as. Now, would you best describe Journey to Atlantis as a log flume or a roller coaster? Log flume. Is it on your credit list? As of now, but it's been on my credit list. So if you if you think that that's the case, well, that's gonna throw off all my milestones. I mean, you know, so that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we're gonna have to modify your credit list after the, you all know right. I win. Um, uh, all right, whatever. I'll let you. Uh, have this one. Mm -hmm. I think that there is absolutely, so you can still make an argument for it being a roller coaster. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, then, okay, so that's, that's a water ride that has roller coaster sections. You look at Green Gringotts, that is a roller coaster. If you ask anyone, I mean, it's, it it's is. an intimate. It has roller coaster sections, yes. but it's mostly a dark ride. So then that also does not work with your definition because there's So I need to modify it because. Classify it as a dark ride. You're right. But I would say there's enough roller coaster aspects to that where it truly is a combination of the two. Um, well, then that makes things very yes, complicated. Yes. Of how, what percentage of how, the ride. How much, like, I don't know. I just do it based on feeling. If it feels like a roller coaster, it's a roller coaster. It's subjective, though. We're trying to give people yeah. a hard definition of what a credit is. Uh, do I look like RCDB to you? RCDB isn't apparently right <laughs> according to you. I don't. I think it's mostly right. I think Dwayne is mostly right. All right, Dwayne. <laughs> so what have we determined from this? Absolutely nothing. Excellent. As usual. All right. Well, let me ask you this. So if, okay. de if defining a roller coaster is so hard, then surely it can't be that hard to describe what makes a new credit. 
Except for when you get into gray areas like this. Mantis turned into Ruguru. New credit. Stand up to Floorless. New credit. Why? It's a totally new ride experience. Same track. Doesn't matter. It's a new ride experience. A sit down versus a stand up, totally different experience. Okay. So by your definition, I like Son of Beast with the loop is a different credit than Son of Beast without the loop. I guess so. It's a different ride experience. It's a wooden roller coaster that goes upside down or one that doesn't. So how much has to change? When I use the Ghost Rider example, those were GCI trains. It went from like PTC trains to GCI Millennium Flyers. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to retracking and stuff. Feels completely different. New credit. Uh, so, so I've been told. New credit? New credit. Okay. If it's a new ride experience, I think it should count as something new. Hey, and that's coming from someone who does not even like credit counting. If it's not the same, like fine if it's the same location or whatever, but if it's, if it feels like a different ride, I don't know why it wouldn't count. Because new. a small percentage changes. Hades was the exact same way. It was just Hades, then it's now Hades 360. They added Gravity Group Timberliners and added an inversion. I never did the original one, so again, I don't have the it's same issue. It's a different issue. ride. It didn't go upside down before. Yeah. So, by that definition, if you take a roller coaster down and move it somewhere else, that's oh, also new credit. Oh, this is what credit. we argue about this one all the time, too. It's a new credit, then, because it's a new ride experience. Why it's is it a new ride experience? It's the same roller coaster, but you're in a completely different environment. It doesn't change the ride experience. I, it changes the sight lines. So you, so you think... So it, by that definition, I could ride Velocicoaster with a freaking blindfold or VR glasses that make me look like I'm in Paris and it's a new roller coaster credit. No way. What's the difference? The sight line? No, it's like, it's in the same location. You, you just blindfolded yourself. That doesn't count. It's not new credit. But your whole point is that it would, the new location that makes the ride experience different is the visuals. Well, whatever. All right, so. This is literally how every one of these go. <laughs> I like lawyer him and he goes, whatever, shut up. All right. Or that. <laughs> so you think if a boomerang is in one park and they move it to another park, it's still the same boomerang. Okay. I mean, I guess that would make it sense for uh, carnival coasters. I mean, like, yeah, you ride every a wacky you... worm in one location, they're constantly rebuilding and taking it down. Like, if you do Olympia looping, yeah. it's been doing the, the fair circuit, yeah. it's it's not a new coaster if you do it in Munich versus London. No. Yeah, I agree with that. Here's here's another interesting one. Uh, I did a roller coaster that's now defunct in Japan. There it had a sit-down train and a stand-up train. It's one ride but they would do a switch track, mm -hmm. whether it's sit down or stand up. I counted it as two coasters. Do you think that's that's fair? Yes. All right. Then I don't feel bad about that one. So now you know I'm being objective here, and I'm not just trying to hurt Taylor. And I'm not just trying to knock your credit count down. I know. But I, I mean... It is satisfying when it happens, but... <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Okay. Oh, no, this is a tough one, actually. I, do, I still don't know about this one. Well, you just talked about retracking. Right, okay, so here's the thing. When Kingsman retracked Rebel Yell, that was a very noticeable difference. Mm -hmm. I've only done New Lightning Rod once. You've only done New Lightning Rod once. I did not think it felt almost any different. Like, maybe smoother. Well, yeah, probably smoother. Well, that's subjective again. But even though it's We have to steel, eliminate subjectivity. Do you count Lightning Rod as a wood coaster or, or a steel coaster? It's a hybrid. Yeah, you're right. That's like the definition of a hybrid coaster. Yeah. Literally. I did not count Lightning Rod as a new roller coaster. Okay. When did they you count, retracted. What about Old Hulk, New Hulk? Did you count that as a new credit? I did. Why? Because they got rid of all the old track, put in new track, and it felt different. Completely retheming, new trains, everything was new. Even though it's in the same location. I Here's did old one. I did Old Hulk, so I count that as a new coaster. I'm willing to back that up. Here's one, Gale Force. That's an that is an interesting one because they retract it, so it's a lot smoother, and they add another launch. So yep. So so is okay. that a new roller coaster now? So okay. So as of right now, I did not add it as a new roller coaster. However, I think that that is a very decent option as counting as a new roller coaster. Does it feel like a different experience? I would say yes. It is okay. Well, the layout is the same, it, but it is smoother. The old one was like. Why did you go around twice? And you go around twice. So there's more launches. All right. I'll add it to my list right after this. Yeah, all right. All right. Anything else you want to knock off to compensate for that? <sighs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Here's an argument you were using. And I think there's a very clear answer to this one. If a roller coaster is the exact same in two different locations, that that is two very different 
credits. Like Batman in one park versus Batman in another park. I, to me, they feel the same. Now, so, but you'd, so you'd count them as one? Probably. Really? Unless it was drastically different for some reason. Even like, though it's two very different, independently built it's roller It's the same coasters. experience. Nothing feels different. It's like riding a boomerang. They're all the same. So you count every boomerang as one. Unless there was something different, different. about it. Like a different like, restraint. Like in Vertigo. Or, like that's not the same as like... Oh well, yeah. I'm yeah. referring to like, okay, you do like speed of sound at Wallaby Holland that has like a tunnel and like onboard audio. So you would count that as a different boomerang than like a normal boomerang. Probably. But every other boomerang... One. But that also makes it complicated. Aftershock at Silverwood and then Goliath, Goliath. at Sunshine's New England. Same thing, different trains. So by the, your definition, they would be two different ones. Yes. And even if they were the same trains, I would absolutely still count them as two different roller coasters because they're in separate locations. But it, to me, it's like, like whenever I go to a new park, I'm never like, I need to ride the Superman clone or like the Batman clone. Mm -hmm. Because, or a boomerang, because to me they're the same as all the other ones that I've done, so to me it doesn't feel like I'm doing something so new. So like Superman at Great America versus Superman at Great Adventure. Those Fundamentally the, the same route. Yes. To me I didn't feel like I needed to do it because it didn't feel like a new experience that I was missing out on. Like I know I don't keep track, but like I can very easily be like, okay, like that was a new credit for me if I were to, you know, count. Yeah. And I understand that and, and I pretty much agree with you. I'm all about doing like... Originality. That's why whenever I go to Sega Square America, I stay away from the clone zone. I've done them just because I've been in that park a couple times and, you know, get the credit, whatever. Well, see, I don't count. That's the thing. Yeah, and if you don't count, then I totally think that is justified. The only time that I would say, like, is when you have a slight difference. Like, you go to over Georgia, that Superman is the original. It was built for the terrain. And yes. once you do that one, the one at Great Adventure... Looks like looks, caca. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's like, you do a wind roller coaster. Maybe one, when you first ride it, it just been retracked. It's it feels great, and yeah. then you go back a couple of years later. Well, now it's rough. So just because it's running rough, is that a new coaster? No, I agree, but it's the same premise. Okay, so both of our definitions are so where terrible. have we gotten? Absolutely nowhere. Pretty much nowhere. But we did kind of gloss over a couple of things. Okay, so you think Lightning Rod is not a new credit? Not enough change to make it feel different. They literally changed the track from wood to steel. But it, it, I didn't think it was, it felt that different. I'll tell you what was the biggest change of Lightning Rod that almost makes it feel like a new coaster. When it opened, it flew over the dolly. Now, you don't get any <laughs> airtime going yeah. over the dolly. Okay. So that, to me, felt like a different version of Lightning Rod. More so than the track replacement. All right, so then what about Tremors? 208 retrack. Yeah, it's okay. a totally different track. Did it feel different? It did. It definitely felt different. It felt like a different ride to me. Uh, yeah. Um, see, that was tricky because that's like you have about a third of that ride that is the RMC topper track. Yes. You have like a third of the ride that is the 208 retrack. And then you have a third of it that is just straight wind roller coaster. Yes. That ride's a mess. It, it definitely <laughs> is. I tell you what, if they order more of that 208 retract, then I think that you almost can't even argue that it's the same ride, like, at all. Like, if it was all 208 retract, I mean, at that point, it's a steel coaster versus a wood coaster. So then what is the difference between that and Lightning Rod? I, if they did all iBox on Lightning Rod, then I would say... It's, like, mostly iBox. But you still have a good portion of So it has to be 100% retract for it to be considered a new credit, is what you're saying. I, mean, I guess it doesn't have to be 100. I don't know, maybe mostly. I don't know, I'm inconsistent. I can see why you don't count credits. It's too freaking confusing. It, it does get confusing. It just stressed me What's out. It's a shame because, like, we're picking out all the weird ones. Most of the time, I feel like it is very straightforward. You ride a roller coaster, yeah, it's a credit. Yeah, but how often do things get, like, you know, if you keep doing this for a long time, you'll only be doing this for a few years, right? I, I, I don't know, since I was in middle school. That's still, like, not that much time in the full course of our lives. How many rides are going to go through So, like, you're saying, like, like when we're 50, how many are going to be... Well, I'll tell you one thing. We'll still be debating this. Yeah, you're probably right. 